Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. Well, anyone who deals with metalwork or builds things out of steel will know that things get heavy pretty quickly. Here in the workshop, I've just got some new equipment that will help me out with that. It's just been delivered, let's take a look, I'll show you how I've installed it. Enjoy! So here it is folks, the Katsu electric hoist from Amazon. It costs just 100 quid and it will lift up to 200 kilos, but if this pulley block is added, then it can go up to 400 kilos. Now the hoist comes with these brackets, but because of the ceiling height in the workshop, we cannot afford to lose the 50 millimeters required. So these will go in the scrap for now. The hoist also comes with the usual instruction manual and also some fasteners for mounting it. Now a downside straight out of the box, the length of the flex, just look at it. We're going to have to install a socket close to the hoist for this. Now the plan is to install the hoist just at the side of the welding table in the gap between these two joists here. To install the hoist, we're first going to fasten one piece of angle iron to each joist. So now we're just marking for the fixing holes here, then drilling. So we're going to use M16 bolts to bolt these to the joist, but we're not going to drill 16mm holes yet. We're just going to take them to about 4mm, this will allow easy marking of the joists. We'll show you that in a second. So we're going to space the angle iron 10mm from the ceiling of the workshop, mark with a pencil, then drill. Now the marking of the joists is done, we can now take the diameter of the holes in the angle line to 16mm using a hole saw. Now I don't need a hundred of these sized bolts, so I've just been on eBay and I've bought five just for this project. Just measuring up for the length of flat bar we need now. This flat bar will get bolted to the winch and get welded to both sides, both sets of angle iron. I'm just busy marking up this flat bar now, so it then can be bolted to the hoist. idea now is to get it lifted up onto the angle iron, get it tacked in place, and then bring it back to the welding bench to fully weld it out. Well there you have it folks, nice little install and it should help me along the way, I've got some big projects coming up. As always guys, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't done already and I'll see you in the next video.